Hi, this is Hydra of the Dice Gods. Welcome to our review of the latest release from Corvus Belly for Infinity, uh, the book Raven Eye. Before we get started with the review, I want to do a bit of a retrospective of the releases from Infinity and how they used to be and how we got here and that'll give us a bit more context for new players about how Raven Eye stacks up to what we've seen before. So, get comfortable, going back in time. And so we start with our history lesson with these two beauties. The uh, Core Rulebook and Human Sphere from N2, or Infinity 2nd Edition. Each of these books is a self-contained lore and rulebook. So everything that you need to progress and play, the uh, stories of the Infinity Universe was contained herein. Um, for those familiar with the rulebooks already, they are beautiful. Got fantastic artwork. We've got the stories, the comic books they used to put in there. It's just fantastic sources of inspiration and uh, and lore. But then, as you move through the book, you start getting into all of your rules and your stats and your equipment. So everything that you needed to play was in here, including the facts and figures and stats at the back. That formula for the books continued for the rest of N2. We have here the second release for N2, Human Sphere. This follows the same format as the original rulebook, containing lots of fluff and images and information on particular units and everything you'd ever possibly want to know about the lore, um, including things like this, the extra, which you just don't see anymore. Ask your dad about that, he'll probably know about them. Anyway. Uh, in addition to fluff and history, you'll also find additions to rules and then new unit profiles in the back. That was pretty much the way that N2 flowed. Self-contained books, rules, profiles, fluff, all in one place. 2014 saw the release of the third edition of Infinity, N3. And along with the tidying up of the rules and progressing of the story, what we also saw was an update to the format of the books. Gone the single book format and in came the two book format core book containing fluff and history and story, and the rule book, unsurprisingly, containing rules. As you'll see, the actual information contained herein is pretty much the same as before. All the beautiful images, the photographs, the history of the units themselves, and everything you'd ever possibly want to know about Infinity but were afraid to ask. And then in the rule books, stats at the back, and then rules, missions, etc. towards the front. So, pretty much the same information that was contained in N2, just massively updated. And so it went, Human Sphere, same format. New Fireteam rules, updates to that kind of stuff appeared in Human Sphere. And away we went, and so it was with N3. Dual book format, here we are. 2020 saw the release of N4, and a tidy up of the rules again, and progression of the story, and as many of you will know, the two book format continued. One containing the rules, the revisions that have come out from there, and also a fluff book containing story and units and progressing the world. With N4, Corpus Belli have been moving towards more of a digital presence for the rules. Whilst they've always been available in PDF format from the Corpus Belli website, they remained pretty much static for an entire version, so N2 rules remained the same throughout the entire release. When rules decisions were made and changes were made, they pretty much remained on the forums or a few other places. Didn't really get integrated into the rulebook. But with N4, Corpus Belli have decided, rightfully, that they're going to start having a living rulebook. So the actual rulebook itself will, as I understand that, be getting updated in PDF format on the website as the rules change. This is great. It means as the FAQs, which have been coming on a semi-regular basis, continue to develop the game, the rulebook will move with it. But it does mean that these hard copy rulebooks will go out of date. Does that mean you should buy them or not? Well, they're the only source for the actual fluff, the lore, history of the game. So if you like story, you'd like to know where you're playing and what's going on, they're definitely a must. But increasingly, I think the definitive rule source will be online. So we move to Raveneye. Released earlier in 2022, Raveneye is the first release for the fourth edition of Infinity beyond the main rulebook. And as you'll see, we've turned back the clock a little bit. 
and it's a single book release. Unlike the main rulebook, no two books here, no separated fluff and rules. So what's actually inside of Raven Eye? Glad you're asked. This is a 180 pages of, as you'll see from the contents page, fluff, units, history, submissions at the end, but no actual rules. Raven Eye doesn't develop the rules for Infinity in any way, shape or form. This is a narrative book. This deals with what's going on on the Raven Eye station. This deals with Spoilers, the uh, death of a certain member of the military orders, which may be stinging for a few players out there right now. A lot of expansion for the Nomads, specifically the new toys we're getting for Corregidor, and how they fit into the universe, their background and history. And for Combined Army, shock or a surprise by the dude on the front, is mostly focused on the Morats. Towards the end, we have a small amount of background for some of the NA2, the Line 2 armies, and the Raven Eye mission set, should you like to play out what happened on Raven Eye. So Raven Eye is very much a narrative book. It's not actually a book of rules. It doesn't develop the rules really in any way, shape or form for the game. What it does is it progresses story, it progresses narrative. And as you would expect from Corvus Belly, it does so beautifully. The artwork is stunning. The background is fantastic. The stories are interesting and fun, unless you're a military orders player. Incredibly fun if you're a Morat player. And, yeah, thoroughly updated, moving the story forward for the world. On top of the fluff and the unit information that you'll find in this book, you'll also find fantastic painting guides. Here we have the Crazier for military orders, step by step, so that you can make your units look as fantastic as the guys from uh, Corvus Belly. If you're a bit more of a free spirit, the Mary Ariadna is your thing, which is why this Ariadna painting guide for the Power Commando will probably be more up your alley. Um, as ever with these painting guides, you've got the step-by-step -step and details of the paints and bits and pieces that were used from the Vallejo paint range. Never one to be outdone by the guys from Ariadna and Military Orders, you'll also find the painting guide for the Nomad Intruder HMG. And of course, if you're more of a uh, angry monkey fan, then you'll also find the painting guide for the Morat Vanguard in here too. Uh, these new miniatures are fantastic, so a lot of people are going out there and buying them at the minute, so if you are looking for a way to paint them, this book will help you out. If you're a new player to the game, should you buy Raven Eye? Well, if you like lore, you like story, you like the universe you're playing in, then absolutely Raven Eye will bring you bang up to date with everything that's going on with certain core factions, not all, but certain core factions, and it will let you know the direction the game's going in. We're going to see lots of new units inside of here. Um, I'm sat here on the Gator Squadron, this is a brand new tag that's just been announced for the Nomads, specifically Corregidor. So yeah, it's, it's fantastic from that perspective. If you're looking, or you're primarily, a tournament player, this really doesn't have a great deal for you. This isn't really aimed in that direction. This is world building, this is developing the story and moving things forward. So if your focus is on grinding your opponent to dust and praying to the dice gods like myself for good luck, this book probably isn't for you. That said, uh, in addition to the actual book itself, you do with this get the fantastic and beautiful Raven Eye miniature that comes in there, the exclusive. Gorgeous miniature, has to be said. Um, this can be used in multiple different factions, but knowing Corvus Belly, there'll be an alternate version of the Raven Eye unit out at some point, um, or I'm sure you can find plenty around. So, Raven Eye. Is it fantastic? Yes. Is the artwork beautiful? Yes. Are the stories interesting? Yes, they are. And they really drive the narrative forward and develop the world and move us into the next sphere of what's going to happen with the Infinity Universe. But is this necessarily for everyone? Do you have to buy this? No, you don't. Would I recommend it? I think I would. If you are engaged with the Infinity Universe and you love it, then this is definitely one for you. If you want to know what's happening in the universe and where it's going, again, this is one for you. But if you only really care about getting the victory, maybe not. Maybe give this one a miss. 
with Corvus Belly moving more to digital versions of their rules and updating live the rulebook, I think that Raveneye is probably more of what we're going to see from them in the future. If the rules themselves are available digitally and updated digitally, the benefit of storing them and pinning them down inside of a actual physical book diminishes. So I think we will see an increased number of campaign books and story books coming out. Is that a bad thing? No. It will give us a much deeper, broader and probably faster moving story behind the Infinity Universe. and That's never a bad thing. But if you're, all, you're interested in his rules, then you're probably better keeping up to date with the latest PDF releases from the actual website, rather than buying a book like Raveneye. But if you don't buy it, honestly, you're missing out. It's a beautiful book and it'd be a great addition to anyone's collection. Definitely recommend it. So there you have it, Raveneye, the latest expansion for Infinity from Corvus Belly. We recommend it. It's worth checking out. Uh, thank you for watching. I've been Hydra for the Dice Gods, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Uh, ring the bell to get the notifications of when we're coming on next, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.